Brian, can you imagine that 2023 is almost half over? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Is it that we're getting older, Mike? Is that what happened? Yeah, I was going to go there. I decided not to, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, we're getting old, man. That's just what's happening. The years are flying by. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, but what I want to talk about here is, you know, you and I both coach, mentor, provide value on YouTube, Instagram, all of that stuff. I wanted to talk about what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling from my followers, my students. Really now call it the summer of 2023 versus mm -hmm. maybe the end of 2022 that's okay. like six or seven months but i'm definitely noticing a change but uh what are you seeing out there what are you feeling in your community i'm feeling less complaining and, and i shouldn't say that shout out to my community i love y'all they <laughs> i shouldn't say complaining i should say there's been less mention of challenges i'll say that ah. <laughs> it's <just> better stated <laughs> um I, yeah I, you know we got a couple of students is coming out of some flips that they done remotely. One of them from Orlando to Georgia. She got in and out of that thing in 37 days. She's going to make a hundred grand on it. Um, another one, he was from Orlando to Memphis. Uh, took him maybe three and a half months to get out of his, but he's already got a couple deals lined up. Mm. Um, got a couple of students in like Arizona that's doing remote to Cleveland. I want to say. They locked up two rentals last week going through due diligence now. So I I, I think the opportunities are really, and, and this is various markets, right, that they're they're finding deals. Now they're, they're consistently doing the work, right, yeah. as, 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 as your Bible says. Um, <laughs> but, but they're seeing the fruit of it, you know. So I think that the market was seemingly tighter, Um based on the feedback that I was getting from them towards the, t the tail end of last year, you know, the last two periods for sure. Whereas now, I mean, they're out there and they're, they're finding deals for sure. Yeah. It's funny. I, I'm sort of sensing the same thing, right? If if we were to rewind the clock, talk about November and December, uh, the real estate market essentially locked up, right? Rates, rates bounced. I think they were the peak at seven, three, seven. You know, we were in the winter months, which are always slow uh, I had multiple experts on my channel talking about losing money on flips, right? These are, these are the best of the best losing 20, 60, a hundred grand on flips because they just, they, they brought it to market at the wrong time, right? It was a timing issue. So at the end of last year, I was, I was hearing a lot of negativity, uh, a lot of, uh, defeat. Um, and now if I fast forward, that, like you say, is gone, but it, it's really what I think has happened is the pretenders have left. Mm. And what I mean by that is when you talk about one rental at a time, you write a book, you know, you're consistent with, with um, content, you get a decent following, but a percentage of that following are pretenders. They're interested, not committed. And when you're interested, it is so easy to complain. Just. And it, I'll even go deeper, not complain, whine. And what I've seen happen over the last six or seven months is the pretenders have gone away. They're now afraid of something else. The dollar crashing, you know, Taiwan wars, you know, some other bullshit has got their attention. But the good news is they're not worried. They're not taking my time, which is For sure. awesome. For sure. I'm now working with people that are doing the work every day. They get the daily discipline. I The percentage of folks that are following me now that are doing the work is up. The quantity is probably down, which, but that's okay, right? Pretenders leave. I'm okay with that. For I sure. want to deal with the people that are wanting to do the work. I mean, that's the whole, you know, that's the Bible verse, right? Do the work. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely what I'm seeing. It's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Um, the pretenders, man, you crack me up, but, but it, <laughs> it's so much truth to that. It, it, you know, one thing that I realized that I despise a lot, Mike, and I, dig I digress, but I think it's important to say, like, I really despise being around people that find a problem for every solution. <laughs> I mean, seriously, man, like, it, it, if, if anything drives me insane at this point in my life, it's that. Yeah. Like, people DM you, you try to give them some wisdom, some insight, and, and it's like, they just keep putting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock up and it's it is exhausting i'm like you know what 
I agree with you. Whatever yeah, you do, just go believe that. Like I'm I'm tired of trying to change people's mind. It's it's exhaust. I'm like, how could you go through life and create problems for every solution? Yeah. So it, it's funny. I, I have started um using this phrase, don't be a doomer. Mm. And I actually like it. You know, I test things out, see how it feels for a while. And then if I like it, I ask my team to create a t-shirt out of it. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Don't be a doomer. And I like that. They're, they're last, again, November and December, really October, November and December of last year. Mm -hmm. There was just a lot of doom, a lot of doomers out there. And again, people can go back in my playlist. I got pissed off. I was pissed off. So I took on a challenge to go find one property and flip it just to prove I could. And I not only found one, I found two and made 90 grand because I got annoyed with the doomers, For right? Sure. Out of the MLS, 30% less than list price, documented the before and afters, the whole journey. I'm like, all right, motherfuckers, what do you have now to say? <laughs> Pisses me off. I mean, but the good news is that I'm not since the doomers have gone somewhere else. They're okay. dooming about the dollar disappearing or dooming about something else. So I'm like, thank God you've left my world. So sure. the pretenders and doomers are gone. I'm, I'm happy to say. Well, how miserable of a life does that have to be? Exactly. Mike? Why do you want to walk around with a rain cloud over your head all day? I mean, how is that for a life? What are you telling your kids and your friends? I mean, I wouldn't want to be around you. I know. I know. And and they're not getting anything done. That's the worst part about it all. Don't be a doomer. And I got, again, I want to be very clear on YouTube. You're on YouTube as well. Yeah. If you want to make a lot of money on YouTube, go be a doomer. Go be a crash bro. Go do, because if it bleeds, it leads. That's true. You are going to be talking to people who just want to consume doom content. And you, the content creator, will get paid. And the if truth you, is, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, my I, no, I just got excited. The truth is, there's more people that want to buy that narrative to justify sure. their inactivity. They want permission to do nothing. That's right. right. I will never give anybody permission to do nothing. It's five box, 20 minutes a day. Shut up, do it again tomorrow. Shut up, do it again tomorrow. And that's why we're not going to, that's why we will not be a huge channel. But there's a difference. I don't care about that. I want to make impact. That's right. That's what I'm trying to, that's why these cards exist. When I send out a golden ticket, what is a golden ticket? It means somebody says that one rental at a time, help them close a deal owner rock, house hack, flip, whatever. I'm such an easy grader. If I helped you in some way, I will send you one of these. The black card, you can only get one of these. It's first time only. Okay. The black card, you can get as many of those as you want. I've sent 20, 25, 30 cards out to the same family over the last several years. That's amazing. That's what I'm trying to do. This Doom content, the crash bros, the people that have, you know, do a video and get 50,000 views because of this or that. The only person winning there, Brian, is the content creator. Oh, 100%. We're we we are we're, cha we're changing generations, you and I. For sure, for sure. And grateful to be able to do it, man. Every day. That's why yep. we do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so the, so the good news is I think the pretenders have left, which is so – I hate pretenders. I love it. Um, I also think the next six months are going to be interesting. I don't know what Detroit's like at all, obviously, or Orlando at all. But let me paint you a vision and see how this hits you. I think between today, and we're recording this on June 7th, 2023, and what will be the end of the year, 1231, 2023, I think interest rates slowly go lower. And as interest rates go lower, the affordability gets better. And uh, we have very little inventory, right? Inventory, nationally speaking, is down 28% year on year. <laughs> I just, what, what's going to happen in housing if rates go down and inventory never shows up, Brian? So, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll say this, and I do agree with you. I think rates are going to creep back down toward the end of the year for sure. But I will say, based off of the last three, four months and, and seeing my students operate in various markets and seeing days on market and what's happening with that, they're starting to compress again. I think the consumer has accepted the fact that rates are just going to be 6%. I mean, that's 
I'm going to own a home at 6%. Like, I, I think that that condition has now finally set in. I think last year with all of the, the volatility and people were like freaking out. And yeah. I think people have accepted that this just may be my new normal. And if I want to buy a house, it's going to be 6%. You know what's really crazy? This is going to shock people. I think it's in August. I think it's the second half of August. When we get there, which is what, two and a half months away? Mm -hmm. This is going to shock people. We're going to have negative year-on-year -year interest rates, meaning last year was higher than this year. <laughs> think about that. Rates That's are wild. going to be hot. Just That's think wild. about that. That's wild. Rates are lower this year. Inventory is lower this year. It's, it's, it's just wild. So again, I think the students that are not pretenders are doing the work. I really do think the pretenders are left. They're scared about something else today, which is awesome. Uh, we're changing, um, not only individuals, but families, man, with what we're doing. Uh, if somebody wanted to follow you or maybe join one of your five day challenges, where are they following you and, uh, where can they check out the challenge? Yeah. You can follow me at Brian Adamson, real estate, um, Brian Adamson, uh, I'm sorry, Brian Adamson Real Estate on YouTube, Brian Adamson Official on Instagram, and then iflipchallenge.com, www.iflipchallenge.com. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much, and uh, safe travel home, huh? Thank you, man. All right, take care.